Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Matt here. I'm wishing you all a happy new year. It's 2026 and with that we are going to be remaking all of my modding videos starting with Skyrim VR. Skyrim VR is a game which is absolutely terrible out the box which has been completely saved by its modding community. Once modded it is hands down one of the most incredible experiences that you can have in virtual reality and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to mod the game using mo2 nexus mods and a select few mods i'm going to show you the core mods that i would recommend as well as the visuals weathers and overhauls as well as textures that are up to date for 2026. Now, of course, the first step is to install Skyrim VR. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we install it in its own separate folder. We want to make sure it's not in program files. So if you have a look here, I'm going to push install. I can see that it's a new volume G, which is outside of program files. If we look at this game here, I'm going to show you how to do that. If I push install and I push the cog button, when I'm in the cog button, I can push this drop down menu. And from here, add drive. Our drive will be a drive outside of C, C being where my program files is, and that will in turn make a separate folder which is outside of program files. And then next we want to go over to Nexus Mods and we want to make sure that we have an account and we are logged in. This does not need to be a premium account, but I would highly recommend premium because without premium, all of your downloads are capped at two megabytes per second. And once we have our account set up, we are going to go over to the search bar. We're going to search for Mod Organizer 2 and we are going to download that executable. We're going to leave that in our downloads folder though. And we're going to go ahead and connect our VR headset to our computer. And we're going to launch Skyrim VR for the first time with no mods. This is a very important step. You need to make sure you do this in order to set up all of the background files that the mods will rely on. And here we are reminded just how crap this game really is without mods. My hands clip through everything. I can't really interact with any object around me. And it just looks terrible. The textures are ancient. So we are going to fix that. Now we've downloaded MO2 and we've run Skyrim at least once. We're going to go ahead and install Mod Organizer 2. We're just going to push accept and go through everything. I would recommend installing the MO2 on the drive that you've installed your game on. So I'm going to go ahead there and make a subdirectory and call it MO2. We go ahead and push OK on that, push next, and make sure that these are all checked. Push next again and next again. Uh, today we're going to make a shortcut on the desktop. We're going to push next and it's going to install. Now, very importantly, once it is installed, we want to be able to set up separate instances. So once we push finish, we run it for the first time. This is what's going to pop up. Creating new instances, always push next to this and always allow global. Once you select it global, it's going to check your computer for all the games which are compatible with Nexus and MO2. Obviously, we're selecting Skyrim VR. Here you can see I can name my instance, and that's really helpful because I can have multiple instances, which are basically multiple mod lists I can jump between to see what I prefer. Now, from here on out, we're just going to push next, next, next until we get to creating a new instance. We're going to push connect to Nexus, and we are going to make sure that we have our Internet Explorer open, and we're going to make sure that it's logged into our account, which we made on Nexus mods earlier on. This window will pop up. We're just going to push authorize, and that's going to allow Mod Organizer 2 to connect to our Nexus Mods account. All right, now Mod Organizer is launching. We're going to go ahead and push no to that. We're also going to go ahead and push do nothing to the next one, which is category setup. Now Mod Organizer would like to use NXM links. So we're going to push yes to that and we are ready to start modding. Now the first thing we're going to need is the Skyrim Script Extender VR. What a lot of people do is they go to Nexus Mods, but don't get it from Nexus Mods. Go to Google, search SKSE VR, and then go to this website right here. This website is called Silverlock, and we're going to make sure we download from here because these are the producers and they make sure that everything is as up to date as possible. Make sure you select the VR build. 
that's the one that we want. We're gonna go ahead and download that 7-zip file. Now, once downloaded, drag it to your desktop just for simplicity. You are gonna need 7-zip or some sort of extractor, but if you don't know how to do that, Google how to. It's super simple. We're now gonna go over to Steam. We're gonna find our game. We're gonna right click it, push properties, go to general. And from general, we're gonna to go to installed files, push browse, and that's gonna show me where my Skyrim executable is. Here it is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the files inside this directory into the folder where our executable is, just like this. Drag that across. And now we have successfully installed SKS EVR. Skyrim Script Extender is extremely important and um, basically it allows the scripts of certain mods to run. Uh, so it's pretty much like non-negotiable. You need it for every mod. So now if I open Mod Organizer 2 and I go over to this drop down menu, I can see SKSE. That means that it's successfully installed. Now, some people have reported this not working for them. So I'm gonna show you how to manually install SKSE. If I go to this drop down menu here and I remove SKSE, you'll see that it is gone from my list and it is no longer available. Now we're gonna manually install SKSE. And to do that, we're gonna to go to this drop down menu, we're gonna to go to edit, we're gonna to go to this plus sign and we're gonna add from file. And from here, we are gonna go all the way to our game and we're gonna find that SKSE, which we extracted earlier, the extractor. So that's gonna be in Steam, Steam apps, common, that's going to be in Skyrim VR, and here it is right here, SKSE Loader. If I double click that, push apply, and OK, we now have SKSE Loader, which is the same as what was previously installed. Now, connect your VR headset to your computer. Go ahead and select SKSE and push run. You are going to see a common theme during this guide. It is very important that we run the game every time we have downloaded and installed a series of mods just to make sure that we don't have any conflicts. And if we do have one, we identify it. However, here you can see we have successfully booted the game. That means we can exit and uh, go on to the next step. Now, we're gonna head over to Nexus Mods and we're gonna download three very important mods and that is Plank, that is VRIK, and that is Higgs. Now, Plank and Higgs are both gonna help you interact with the environment and with other characters and with so much more. It's just non-negotiable, you need to have them. And VRIK, make sure that you're not a floating pair of hands. So, very important. We can also install VR address library for SKC VR. That is a prerequisite for a lot of mods, so it's good to have it. If we go over to files, and then we go down to mod manager download, it's gonna open up a link saying allow NXM. Now, I'm gonna push always allow, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna download it directly to my mod manager too. So if we have a look over here and we go over to the downloads tab, just on the right, you'll see that it has automatically downloaded the VR address library. We're gonna install it from there also later on. But if we head over back over here, we're gonna to go to files and we're gonna download from mod manager the plank uh, mod. Here you're gonna see it has two prerequisites. One is Higgs and one is SKSE VR. We've already got Higgs, so you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go over to VRIK, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go over to player avatar, we're gonna choose mod manager download. Now here, if you have a different controller like the Rift, um, here's a good spot to download it from, but we're gonna click here because we have the Quest 2. Again, it's gonna show us the prerequisites. We already have the prerequisites right here, which um, is Higgs as well, we're gonna download that and so on and so on. You can see we've already got SKS EVR, we don't need that. What we do need, however, is Sky UI, and we're gonna download that in a second. Here you can see all the downloaded mods. Um, we're gonna head back over to Nexus, and we're gonna get Sky UI. Now make sure you download Sky UI VR, and uh, that's basically it. Do the same process that we have for the previous mods. Sky UI is very important. One, it does fix your UI and make it so much better, and two, um, it's a prerequisite for a lot of mods. So here we are, we have downloaded it. And once we have downloaded these five mods, or I would say the core four, for your address library is not necessary. The rest are, we're gonna right click them and we're gonna install them. And for every single one of them, it's gonna pop up like this. We're gonna tick it, which is gonna activate it. So we're gonna install Sky UI, push proceed. 
we're going to push OK and we're going to tick it so it's activated. And we're going to do that for all of the mods one by one. All right, guys, we have the core for installed. What are we going to do? We're going to test to make sure they're working. So we're going to go ahead and connect our VR headset to our computer. We're going to go ahead and choose the SKSC loader. We're going to push run and we're going to make sure that it is working now. Plot twist, it's working. So we're going to step on to the next stage. It's very important we do this each time because if we don't, we're going to get a bugged mod and we're not going to know which one it is. Now oh, check it out guys, I have a body, I have hands, I'm not a floating object. I can bump into people, I can interact with people. I can grab this dude on the shoulders, I can pull him back. Uh, I can interact with my environment so much more. And there you have it guys, that is how you install mods for Skyrim VR. These are the core four mods that you really do need to have. However, now I'm going to go through the extra categories which I highly recommend, such as changing the textures, the sounds and a few others. So stay tuned. Now guys, you already know how to install mods as I've just shown you in the previous section. So I'm going to skip through this quite quickly. These are the visuals mods that I would recommend. All of these mods are current and up to 2026 standards and they will completely reshape the look and the visuals of the game. And the most important of all of these I cannot specify enough is Skyland AIO, which is the new texture mod. Now, as before, what we're going to do is we're going to right click the file in the downloads tab and we're going to click install and we are going to go through a few options. Just tick the ones that you think look best for you. If anything asks you whether it's special edition or a different version of the game, always make sure to select special edition. Now here I'm going through all of the mods, I'm installing them and I'm choosing my preferences. Some of them are selecting which towns I want to revamp, some selecting all towns, some of them are just deciding how I want the windows to look or how I want certain uh, changes to look. So select what you think you're going to prefer the most. Some are high fantasy and some are more realistic. Now that's all the visual mods installed, what are we going to do now? We are going to launch the game and we're going to test it. And once we're happy it works, we're going to move on to the next step. Now we're going to revamp the weather and the interior and exterior lightings. And we're going to get cathedral weathers for weathers and seasons. We're going to get Lux, Lux Orbis and Lux Via. Now Lux and Lux Orbis both need a patch mod. And you'll see that uh, when we try and download it. So download those two. All of these Lux modules are really good at changing the way the light looks and making the game look a lot more incredible. And just like before, we're going to go through all of the mods on the download tab. We're going to install them and we're going to choose what we think will look best for us. High fantasy, realism, darkness, it's all there. Make sure that once everything is installed, we tick it. And this is the important part. You need to make sure that your load order is as is shown here. This should be the load order. And the way MO2 works is it has a priority from top zero all the way down to 16 is what it's going to load in what order. And if there are any conflicts, the lower priority mod is going to be knocked off. So when it comes to Lux, we need Lux, then Lux Orbis, then Lux Sphere, then we need the Lux Orbis patch and the Lux patch. If you need to change the priority of a mod, you can just click on it and drag it up and down. Simple as that. And now that we've installed lighting and weather mods, it's time to run the game for a quick test. And I'm glad to see that everything is working. We have just installed the core mods, which help you interact with your environment and help you have your own player identity. We have changed the visuals, the textures, the mesh of the whole game. We have changed quite a lot. We've also changed the lighting interiors. We've changed glows. We've changed dust particles, all kinds of stuff. Here on out, guys, you can start looking through Nexus mods and installing mods which work for you. Just make sure that you do also install a sound overhaul mod. I would highly recommend Immersive Sounds. It's a really good mod. And also make sure that when you're installing mods, you install their prerequisites. Now, I really hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. I'm going to be covering a bunch more guides over 2026 for virtual reality. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.